Hi everyone, what happens if you have multiple USB storage devices that you want to connect to your router, but the router has only one USB port? Will a USB hub work? And if it works, will it have limitations? For instance, will it be able to operate a hard drive? Does it need power? Will a USB hub powered or non-powered will work? And which is best? So in this video, I will try to cover all these scenarios. Let me show you first my setup. So this is my setup and this is what I'll be testing. This is a TP-Link Archer AX55 router that has only one USB 3.0 port. I have a USB hub that is the Sabrent USB hub. This is a four port USB hub with individual power on and off for each port. And it also has an external power. I have an external SSD drive. This is a Samsung SSD drive, 256 gigabytes that I put in a Sabrent enclosure. I have two USB keys. This is a SanDisk Extreme Pro. This is a top cell USB key. And both USB keys are really very fast. And this is an external hard drive from Western Digital. It's a one terabyte hard drive and it has its own external power. So let me first connect all the devices to the USB hub. So now I connected all the devices to the USB hub and I connected the USB hub to the USB port of the router. And what I'll be doing is that I'll be powering each device one after the other and then all of them will be powered. And we're going to look in the router's administration page how the devices will appear. And of course, I'll be doing a testing for file transfer and I'll also be performing media access tests. So let's first start by powering on this first one here, which is the Samsung SSD. And let me switch now to screen recording and show you how it will appear. And this here is the administration page of the router. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on scan. And you see that it was recognized instantly. So let me now power on the next device and click on refresh here and see if it will be recognized. So now I powered on the SanDisk. I'll give it a couple of seconds and then let me hit on refresh now. And you notice that both drives now are visible. So let me do now this for the hard drive. So this is a mechanical hard drive. So let me give it a couple of seconds and let's click on refresh and you notice for now we have the three hard drives are working so this is a mechanical hard drive this is usb key and this is the external ssd drive and the last one is the top cell usb key so let me power it on and notice that i didn't connect the usb hub to its power cord and i've tested this before and frankly, connecting it to its power cord doesn't make any difference. So we don't need to connect it to a power cord. So let me click on refresh now. And you see we have the four drives working on the USB hub. Now, that's good to see them here. But will they operate successfully, all of them at the same time? So now the test that I'll be doing is trying file transfer from and to these USB keys and USB drives from my PC that is connected through Wi-Fi 6 to the router. So let's perform this. I'm going to open Explorer. So first, let's go to the router's SMB share. So these are the four hard drives. Let me open one by one. So now I have the four drives open here in front of me. I'm going to start by copying the large file from the Western Digital Mechanical to my desktop. And here the copy started, so it is working fine as you see. So let me now try to overwhelm the router. I'm going to copy another file, and this time I'm going to copy it from the Samsung SSD. And let's see if it will start simultaneously. So notice that it didn't start yet. Of course, the hub, I tested it on my PC before, and there is no issue in copying multiple files from multiple drives on the PC. But on the router, it is a little bit different. So let's give it a minute to see if it will start. So now it started. So it took around two minutes to start. 
and you see it is fast so let me now try the opposite so let's first for instance try to copy uh, this large file here into the SanDisk so this is from my PC I'm gonna copy it the opposite way this time so I'm gonna copy it to the SanDisk which is on the router and let me at the same time try to copy something else to another drive so let me try to copy this one here to the mechanical drive so now I'm copying two files simultaneously from my PC to two drives on the router so let me try to copy this here so this is three files and let me copy the opposite way to see if it will work so now I have four files so three copying from the PC to the router and one copying from the router to the PC and they are all working well so apparently copying files from and to the USB port of the router to a hub on devices connected to the hub works fine so it's not very fast which is understandable but it works and it is reliable at least for what I tried now of course I've done also tests before and it was working fine also so now let me try the media access on this USB hub through the USB's router and let's open Windows Media Player and you see this is my media server so this is the media server that is shared on the USB router through the USB hub so let's open it and let's double click on videos and these are all my videos so let's double click on folder and you see it detected all the videos and then if I double click any of the videos it will work so this is one of my videos hello everyone I'm your lawyer and it's working as you notice one last thing I wanted to mention is the following so let me get this hard drive so for the mechanical hard drives the mechanical hard drives that get their power from the USB directly they will not work and I tried them I really tried two models I tried the Western Digital Elements that the one that I have here and I tried a Sabrent one with also a Toshiba hard drive in it they will not work so whatever I've done maybe they'll appear for a minute and then they'll disappear and they will make like Explorer hang and everything so even if I power the USB hub with the external power they will not work but the mechanical hard drives that have their own external power like this Western Digital that I showed you and that I tested now in front of you these will work without any problem by the way if you want to check up all these devices that I showed in my video I have affiliate links in the description for all these devices these are links on Amazon I'll gain a small percentage if you make a purchase at no cost to you and this will help my channel also if you want to know how to share your USB port on a router I've also made a video earlier on a D-Link router but the same instructions apply also to other routers like this TP-Link router I just tested now if you like this video and found it useful, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will really help the channel. Until next time.